It is uh, Tuesday, April 13th, and what a day it has been in the Clark household. I cannot explain to you um, because it's too long and involved and complicated, and it all works out in the end, but it was a day that um, started out fine, was fine most of the day. I was planning on doing a, a, a vlog today, and then it got really stressful and really scary, and things looked like things were going badly, and then it turned out that they were not going badly, and everything was okay, and everything's going to be good, I believe, knock on wood, um, but now it's very late, and so I'm not going to let Veda die this easily. Um, I'm going to give you a very quick book review. This is the book Pandemic by Yvonne Ventresca, um, and it is a book about a high school girl. It's a young adult fictional novel, um, and it is about a, a high school girl, as many YA novels are, and she lives through a pandemic. And this book is remarkably realistic in so many ways. It captures so much of what we have all been through the last year. And I think the, one of the best points it has to make is that the pandemic did not come conveniently at a time when we were all just had all our ducks in the row and were ready to spend a year in quarantine with everything being shut down. Um, and so she was dealing with some crisis affairs in her life. Basically, this is not really much of a spoiler because it's revealed in the very first pages of the book. Um, she was a victim of sexual assault and she was trying to deal with that in her life when a pandemic explodes. Now, it's not the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic that we are all familiar with. It is somewhat different. It was a, a much faster um, incubating and a more deadly virus. So it's, it's a bit more, um, you know, tragically walking dead, many, many people dropping dead. In fact, it, it had kind of the opposite effect where COVID-19 um, has taken the lives primarily of seniors. Seniors were not affected in the, in the virus in the book. Um, but there are many, many ways in which it parallels our experience for the last year, which is an incredible job of writing and imagination because this book is about five years old. It was published well before coronavirus was a thing and before we all went into lockdown. Um, so in that, remark, in, in that aspect, it's quite remarkable and I really enjoyed it. Um, like I say, it doesn't mirror exactly our experience and what we've been through, but it is a, a story well told and phenomenal in the parts of life that you will recognize um, in the book. And, and it is also a reminder that while we, um, I think we're all hopeful that we seem to be viewing the light at the end of the tunnel of the coronavirus vax, or the coronavirus pandemic, it doesn't mean this, that, you know, just because the last one happened in 1918 and this one happened 100 years later, it doesn't mean we can be assured of 100 years before another pandemic explodes. Hopefully we can be better prepared, deal with it better, not let it become as political um, in the, the next time. But it is a reminder that it can happen again it can be milder than this one was. It could be worse than this one was. And that's something to think about. But uh, it's a great book. I enjoyed it a lot. And I recommend you might look in, look for it. Um, you can order it at Amazon, order it through your independent bookstore, get it someplace. Not a bad book. And so I'm going to wrap this up and be off to bed shortly because it is late. And I will try to get this in before midnight and keep my Veda mostly alive. Till next time, don't forget to be awesome, and I will talk to you again, soon, hopefully. Birds still asleep because it's still late.